Welcome back. This is going to be part three of our home review for lesson 38, volume of a truncated cone. So uh, in this one, all of you might have different values. And so if you want to use my values, it's totally good. So let's find a cup at home that has the shape of a truncated cone. Uh, so look kind of, again, it looks like a cone, except the bottom is chopped, like the, the, tip, the tip of the, of the, of the cone is chopped off parallel to the, to the base. Uh, usually it's uh, point downwards, just like the picture we have here. It should be easy. Find its height and its two base diameters. That will be easier than the radii. Do all measurements to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Okay, it's enough. That's uh, that's what we use. Uh, that's what I use at least. Then calculate its volume in cubic centimeters. Since a cubic centimeter is equal to a milliliter, you have also found its volume in milliliters. If you have a measuring cup like the one pictured below <laughs> that measures milli milliliters, check your answer by filling up the appropriate amounts of water. Okay, so I did not do that part, but I will find the volume, all right, because it would be kind of messy. I will let you know uh, my calculations in the comment section below for the video, all right, just to let you guys know, because I'm not going to be doing filling up water and stuff like that during this video. I just want to do the measurements. And so here's what my cup looked like, very similar, all right, so, um, so it looked like this. Oops, no, not like a circle, not like a circle. No, 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 no not that way. Instead, let's see now. Yeah, do this. Okay, it looks more like a. So here's an oval on top, and then you have an oval on the bottom. Okay, uh, kind of like that. Yeah. All right, and let me just move this over just a little bit, so kind of centered. All right, kind of like that. All right, and so here we go. All right. All right, there you go. And uh, of course, there was like a, uh, we had a little handle here. So it was like this. Cup handle, right? And uh, it was, oops, sorry. It was actually orange. Where's my orange color? Uh, I can't really see orange. So it kind of looks this. So we'd fill it in here. So here, here. I guess not. So, all right. So anyway, uh, so here we go. Um, and so our dimensions in this case would be the following. I measured this, the diameter I measured of the base to be 5.5 centimeters. Now I took it from the inside part, not from the outside part, because I want to find the, the volume. Because in this case, the cup is a little, has a little thickness and all. I'm using the inside, uh, inside radius, inside diameter, because of the fact that's how it mesh the fulfilling the volume be. And the same thing for the, for the outside here. This, this diameter I found to be 8.5. There was a thickness to the cup, so, but this is how much would fulfill. And then my height was exactly 10 centimeters. So these are all centimeters. All right. And so if we are doing the same exact situation, uh, very similar, we would have, we fill our information here. This would be 10. Therefore, the original cone would be X plus 10. And so half of 5.5, I believe, is 2.75. So this measurement would be 2.75. And half of 8.5 would be 4.25. Not the nicest numbers, but it's okay, though. It's okay. And actually, it was exactly, it wasn't, I need to round off. It actually worked out pretty nicely in this case. All right, so let's up our proportion to find our value of x. So it couldn't work out what we normally do. And so we will have our big triangle has a height of x plus 10 over the base of 4.25 and the height of the small triangle x over the base of 2.75 so of course multiply we have 2.75 x plus 27.5 and that's equal to 4.25 x well okay so Let's now subtract 2.75x from both sides. Okay, and so we have 27.5 is equal to, all right, well, we get an x here, the fives cancel out. Uh, I think this goes because of three, and this is a two. I do this because I just want to make sure, ladies and gentlemen, I sometimes make errors. So we have in this case 27.5x is equal, oh, sorry, 27.5 is equal to 1.5x. Now I'll bring up the calculator and do 27.5. 
27.5 divided by 1.5, and we get 18 and a third. So x is equal to 18 and a third. Not a very convenient number. Okay, now you could round up to 0.3. Uh, I'm going to leave it in 18 and a third because, or in this case, uh, I believe 18 and a third, 30 plus 24 is, uh, 30 plus 24 is 54. So it should be about 55 over 3. Now you can figure this out on the calculator because you have to like uh, convert that here. In the calculator, you can just take this and hit the math button. Hit enter twice, and it'll change a repeating decimal into a fraction. Now, why am I using the exact value? I use like fifty-five three. Why am I using? Why, why do I use eighteen point three? I like using you know as closely the value we have. And so, here we have our again our volume of the truncated cone equals the volume of the the big volume minus the small volume. And so our big value of the cone will be in this case, well, we have a radius of 4.25. So it's one third pi 4.25 squared times a height of, now uh, in this case, 10 plus 18, 18 and a third is gonna be 28 and a third, all right? 28 and a third, which is the same thing as 85 over three. Now, you could also use, in this case, 28.3, okay? So, if you want to, that's totally good. I'm going to use a, a 5 over 3, all right? So, because uh, in this case, because like, how we do this and all, well, 10 is really 30 over 3, so 30 plus a, 55 is 85, okay? And then, volume of the small is equal to 1 third pi, and that will be 2.75 squared. And that's going to be 50 times the height of 55 over 3, or 18.3. Okay, so let's enter into our calculator. Okay, so here we go. So I have 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3, pi. Our radius was, I believe, 4.25, so 4.25. All right. We're going to square that and then multiply by the height. I believe we said it should be 85 over 3. And don't worry about it. We'll do the same exact thing over again. And instead of 85 over 3, I'll use the, I'll use the uh, decimal value and see how it changes. Okay. All right. And now let's subtract from that one third. Now, this is totally good because the calculator will be doing everything in as far as the order operations, and so it's set up okay. Okay, so we have, in this case, 2.75 squared. So 2.75 close parenthesis squared. And I believe I got 55 over 3 as a height. 55 over 3. All right, so here we go. Enter, and we get 390.735. So this is going to be to nearest, I believe, um, we're looking for the nearest uh, cubic centimeters, calculate to, to cubic centimeters. All right, so uh, cubic centimeter. So there you go. So we would have, in this case, it looks like 391. So it's about, so volume of the truncated cone, or about approximately 391 cubic centimeters which is equal to 391 milliliters. Now, let me try this out again, but use our decimal of 18.3 and 28.3. And say, so, oh, can we do that? Sure can. So here's the do, instead of typing the whole thing out, okay, second enter will allow us to rewrite everything. And then we can go back and change the eight, 85 over three to be 28.3, so 28.3, and just types over it, okay? Then we'll go over to the 55, point, 55 over 3 and write it as 18.3, because that's what we got before, okay? Let's see how this works out. Hit enter, 
Now we have 39, 390.369. So it's off by a little bit, actually. All right. So because you round up to 0 0.3, you're going to get a little bit round down to 390. Okay. Even though, so this is, so, so what, which one is the better answer? Well, if I add instead of 0.3, what if I had gone back? Okay. Let's try this again. Second entry. And let's go back to, instead of 28.3, what if I wrote down 28.33? I've added that extra bit. Now I can do that by, hitting, by getting there. Hit second delete allows me to insert. So a three here. Okay, let's see now. Let me go all the way to the right end here. Okay, oops. And do a three, close parenthesis, enter. And so now 390.698, which will round up to near to our nearest to our nearest whole um, uh, cubic centimeter, we have 391. So if we round off too much in the beginning, um, it probably gonna have an issue. I would say in this case, you want to you know you want to round kind of keep some decimal places because of this issue here, all right? Because the rounding might be a problem. So we would still get 391 um, 391 milliliters, all right? And so in this problem. This cup I have from from the in this case the I kid you not it looks like this it's um it is really orange background and then it has this uh heart here and it says Cardozo PTA Cardozo oh, my handwriting is terrible here PTA all right and so in this cup would actually hold 391 milliliters now um, does it hold it actually um, it, you know, does it really, I mean, well, I'll go measure, I'll measure it and all. I uh, so will take a measuring cup and see how much, how much it does measure. And I'll let you know. I'll let you know whether I got 391. All right. But in any case, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this was uh, helpful. I hope you guys try on your own too. So it, I know it's like, oh man, it seems like a lot of work. Not really. Just take your ruler, try it out. And what's the worst happens? You make a measuring error. Listen, we're not using very precise uh, tools and all. So, so ladies and gentlemen, full page here so you can see everything. You want to do the same technique over and over again. Okay, so keep in mind that you might get a question like this on your final as well. So just be very careful. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Question comment section below. I love the feedback. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. All right. I appreciate that as well, too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to be updated to, and turn on notifications to know when new videos are added because I'm going to be adding new videos, especially after this for Algebra 2. Algebra 2, okay? And if you want me to do over any older geometry videos, let me know as well, too, because, you know, I got a whole summer. You know what? And, you know, if I'm stuck home, I'll be doing videos. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are, are safe. Take care, and I'll see you. I guess I'll see you in the next the next um, math class, which will be, in this case, Algebra 2. All right? Oh, but keep in mind, doing videos for our, our final review. Those coming up as well, too. So I'll see you then. Take care.